One by one, Greene County road crews are loading up. If we know there's a storm coming in, we will check all the trucks out, all the fluids, the light, and the plows are working. The trucks are loaded with rock salt. And this dark coffee-like substance, it's called beet heat. Uh, beet heat is really nothing more than liquid sugar and liquid chloride put together. Beet heat is one specific product made from beet molasses. There are others on the market, all aimed at one thing. It's cut our salt consumption down in half. Honestly, it has saved us from going out in other small incidences with the residual that it's left on the road. Eric Miller works for Greene County's Highway Department. They've been using beet heat since 2011. Hi, I'm Kirstie Zantini with WHIO. Storm Center 7 contacted other Miami Valley engineers to see what they're using. From the 11 counties I called, all but three are using some form of beet product mixed with their salt or brine. All engineers say it has improved performance and saved on salt use. Because the better your salt works, the better your brine works, the less of it you need. Using less rock salt is important. According to the EPA, sodium chloride or rock salt can damage bodies of water, including the groundwater we drink and even vegetation along the road. So how does this vegetable help in the winter? Stewardship for the environment. Carroll High School science teacher Dr. Christina O'Malley agreed to help me with an experiment to find out. We needed to have two pieces of ice so that we could compare two products side by side with each other. Green County trucks spray their salt with beet heat before the salt hits the road. We simulated the process coating the salt. Three, two, two one. Each plate got the same amount of salt. We set the timer for an hour and watched. Both worked, but the salt beet mix started to work quickly and ended up melting more ice. One of the perks of using a sugar to melt ice is the fact that it acts as a natural antifreeze. And you could see that here with our experiment. The side that just had the rock salt had some refreeze that occurred. Yeah, there's one right there. Salt lowers water's freezing point. When you throw beets sugar into the mix, it can create a solution that works at temperatures nearly 20 or 30 degrees below zero. So if we can keep that de-icer in the target area a lot longer, then it's going to melt more ice and snow and give it more time to run off of the roadway rather than freezing on the roadway. Slowing refreeze is not the only perk to bringing in the beets. It's less corrosive than salt, so that's what's great. So it's not as, as hard on, on the actual vehicle and electronics and those type of things. I mean, it doesn't eliminate the problem, but at least reduces the problem. Reducing how much chloride goes into the environment and lowering the amount of salt used. A sweet benefit, county leaders say, to adding beet sugars to snow and ice removal. In Greene County, I'm Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirstie Zantini.